Welcome back. You're still watching The Globe. Let's go back to uh, uh, that story we tried to do a short while ago. With just a little over three weeks to go now before Ivorians cast their votes, two presidential candidates have threatened to boycott the election. Evariste uh, Kochi is uh, the Secretary General of the FPI, Ivorian Popular Front, and opposition uh, party there. He joins us now on the line to discuss the Ivory Coast's bumpy road to the polls. Thanks so much indeed for joining us and welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, sir. All right, so make sense of the political uh, landscape in Ivory Coast at this time. Uh, the president wants to run for a third term. Is the general feeling that uh, people don't want this to happen? Yes. We cannot speak about elections now because the whole country is set to tell Mr. Alassane Ouattara to leave politics. The same Alassane Ouattara will design or will shape the constitution of the country in 2016 will declare that there is no possibility for a third mandate for any president in power. Now, he cannot say one thing and contradict himself. The reason why, he must be a man of his own word. He said it, he has to put it in practice. The whole Ivory Coast, we, we will trust him as his president is waiting for him to, for him to say, enough is enough. I said I won't be any more a candidate for, the, for my third mandate, then I'm leaving. This is what we expect him to say. So in the meantime, are you saying that all opposition parties are not going to contest uh, this election? No. The only people, the only credible opposition member or leader who was by or it on the list of the candidates who pull out who is Mr. Afin Gesa, who is on the side of the FPI, is no more with is no more in the uh, on the race. In other words, the man who is left with him who is Kakabe is uh, what are called a light uh, feather weight on the ring. He can't, he, he represents nothing in Cote d'Ivoire. So for us, the election won't take place. All the leaders of the opposition are having the same opinion. As I'm speaking to you this morning, President Buhari and Ado Kufo from, uh, Ado Akufo from Ghana, were expected in Abidjan just to tell the man, enough is enough. You have given us your word that you will be departing from politics. Please retire and let Ivory Coast breathe. But why have they left it so late? Because he made his intention well known some weeks ago. Uh, why would they wait until just before the election? We have been putting the pressure on him. We didn't wait till few weeks before the, ele the election to tell him that. In my previous interviews, I told you that the country is in turmoil. The interior of the country is picketing, is marching, is protesting, and there are many things that are ongoing currently there in Cote d'Ivoire. It is not something that has just started. We are putting the pressure of the men on the men to withdraw because by the 31st of October, we are not sure that, first of all, that the election will be taking place. And by then, or at the, on the same date, Alassane will no more be the president of Ivory Coast. And it will be easier for him to push it out because it will become that could face the judiciary system of Ivory Coast because he denied the Constitution, he shaped himself. Why then is not being a man of his word? That's the reason why we need to push him out before he brings another armed crisis in the country. 
No one is ready for another um, crisis. We went through a lot, and we don't want this anymore. But uh, the president says that the constitution was changed, and so he legally can carry on with another mandate. I don't know what school Mr. or President Alassane Ouattara uh, attended. The same French, the same English he speaks. We do. The same constitution he drafted. The same people he used to come and convince the national and the international opinion to prepare us mindedly to tell us to rest assured that he won't be any more, or he won't run anymore for a third mandate, are the same people who are still on board with him. He said it. He told the international and national community that he won't be any more presidential. I think he has to stick to his word. The, the Constitution doesn't say anything is now interpreting. This is his own thing he's saying. One person against the whole population, against the whole international community, it is not, it, it, it's like in a nightmare. So ECHA was putting pressure on uh, President uh, to uh, step down and step back. Do you think that this is an opportunity for France to use its influence with him, uh, perhaps to uh, heed that call? ECOWAS and France are just uh, small entities because last week the European Union, the United Nations, the ECOWAS, and all the different organizations send their members there in Abidjan to tell Alassane Ouattara to pull out. So it's not just a matter of France. All of us, we are ready. We don't want the men. And President Macron told him openly on his last visit at the Palais des Elysees in France, that's the presidential palace of Mr. Macron, President Macron. Macron told him to leave. We don't know what this man wants. Certainly he's uh, maybe scared of facing the criminal court for whatever he did in Cote d'Ivoire, reason why. He, he doesn't want to step down, but he has to come out to tell us what he wants. Because at a certain stages of our political career, when things are not working out for us, we need to come out and discuss so that we see the way forward then Mr. Alassane Ouattara must come out and speak to us. Then we'll see. We are the one who puts him there in power. We are the one who, who according to the Constitution, are telling him the time has come for him to step down. What is the man waiting for? He must tell us. He must come out as a man and speak out. You say that there's a universal call for uh, President Ouattara to uh, step back. Traditionally, there was this divide between the north and south of the country. Are you saying that the same feeling is experienced in both regions? The north and the south thing is just uh, a reason, a fabricated reason to oppose the two different areas of the country that have been living peacefully for years, for centuries. Alassane is a fabricated man from the international monetary funds or institutions to come and rule over Cote d'Ivoire for allowing, allowing international or uh, let's say superpowers like France and other countries to loot our resources. There has never been any conflict between the North and the South. As I'm speaking to you now, can Alassane answer? Where Mr. Sorogion, who is a, 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 a man or a citizen from the north of Ivory Coast, where is he currently? He's in France. He cannot even come to Cote d'Ivoire because Alassane doesn't want him there. If Alassane claims to be from the north, while he's chasing the children from the north like Soro and other men who are, who are currently in exile, why doesn't he stand and tell us the reason why he's behaving like that? That's what the problem is. He is a liar. He says something today, and he said the opposite or the contrary of it.
the net manager. A man like him is no more credible. Reason why it, we don't need him at the head of the of, of our of our nation because our country is in danger. All right. So let's say the elections go on. Uh, he wins the elections that uh, the opposition parties have boycotted. What will you do then next? There won't be elections. Alassane will step down. The next thing is that the population is set for the active boycott, and certainly the civil, the civil society is the one that will be coming and start ruling for a certain transition, and the elections will be certainly organized in few months, and will turn the page over. That sounds like a coup. It is not a coup. This is the provision made by the Constitution. The Constitution states that when the president is at the end of his term, he must step down and choose a candidate to represent his own party, which Alassane never did. And now as he wants to impose himself on us, then he will face the, retali the retaliation of the population and those one as the constitution that are lawfully to rule must be there and the election will be organized it is not the only man in the country there are so many people waiting what does the retaliation of the people look like is this marches is it marching the marches, to state the house picketing, the yes that's what we are doing. And we are also uh, di initiating dialogues between he and us. The reason why we are inviting presidents like uh, President Buhari and uh, Akufo Ado from Ghana and the ECOWAS, the president from the ECOWAS country, to come on board for us to, to negotiate and to see the way forward. But as for Alassane, who wants to be there for his third term, this is not doable because the, uh, the Constitution doesn't allow it. And the population seems to be mocked, reason why this must have an end. Are you going to prevent voters from voting at the election, on the election day? There won't be any vote, but because as I'm speaking to you now, the opposition parties have uh, uh, asked all their members, especially for those one who haven't uh, collected the, 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 the polling cards yet, not to do so. For those one who have already collected their own, they should burn them or tear them off. This we know the scenario, if they try, Alassane has already, is already prepared to rip the election. And uh, Eka was, uh, are you saying, are fully on board with a uh, change in leadership as we speak now? They are set for that. They are ready for that. President like Buhari, uh, Akufo, and so forth, have told Alassane Ouattara many times to step down for a peaceful election in Ivory Coast. All right. What if he refuses to go? He just says, I'm not going anywhere. If he refuses to go, he cannot even refuse to go because himself, what he drafted as a constitution is the one that pushes him out of the political arena. We, we, never, we never told him to go. We, we are not using guns to push him out. But the Constitution is telling him to go. Then he has to step down. All right. We, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, we certainly hope that uh, your country finds a peaceful revolution, a re resolution to uh, the issues that it's facing. Thank you so much indeed for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me, sir. Merci beaucoup. À bientôt. Au revoir. Au revoir.